Well, I love coming up into Michigan, especially the St. Joe Benton Harbor area, one of my greatest places in the world to go to. And why am I here today? Well, we're gonna do something fun and a little risky, just a tad bit. This is Lumberjacks, come on, it's gonna be fun. By the way, we get to throw axes. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Yeah. How you doing? Good, you? All right. Look at this logo. It's gonna. This could be deadly. This is great. It's right up my alley. Where's Austin? What's happening? Yeah. Well, I didn't see this one coming, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm already like ready to go. I'm standing here with Austin Bach. He is the hey, owner, the yeah. founder, the man himself. I'm gonna call you Mr. Axe today. <laughs> Mr. Axe. Yeah, Mr. Axe. Yeah. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take but it. We're in we're in uh, St. Joe, Michigan, and uh, or St. Joseph, Michigan, yeah. I should say. Yeah. You know, but I use it as St. Joe. <laughs> but why are we here? We're not here to cut hair. We're here to throw some axes, right? Yeah, please. And don't we're cut lumberjacks. Hair. The place is called Lumberjacks. How did you guys get started? Whew, a long story, but you know, it's the Steve Jobs kind of story, right? Where we were uh, in a college dorm throwing axes in my room when I got placed on the, uh, on the handicap side of the room because I broke my leg, threw some axes in, indoors. I woo, sorry uh, if there's any damages, but yeah. <laughs> there you go. And that's where it started, Yeah, right? that's where the kind of passion started for it. And then we saw it on ESPN a couple of years back and uh, they were doing the professional leagues like, wait a second, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's tap into this. Let's go for it, because everybody says there's nothing fun to do here in St. Joe. Uh, we want to prove them wrong. And so. this is something that you can do leagues and yes. everything else, right? Yes, yes. And just all year round. Yes, all year round, just like bowling. You know, we have leagues for uh, everybody. We'll have eventually some rec leagues, women's leagues, um, you know, the elite leagues, sure. uh, team team play, duels, big axes, so. And this is picking up. I mean, I've yeah. seen this and I, I know my nephew himself is actually making throwing axes now. So yeah, yeah. this is one of those things where he's getting the, the if you call this the head, yep. right? And then he gets the stock or the handle yep. and he's doing his own stuff with it. So it's picking up and I'm just looking forward to what we're gonna do here. Hopefully <laughs> I don't have to pick my axe up off the floor. Right. Hey, yeah. your practice rounds went really good. I, so. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit, but I'm telling <laughs> you, this is like something new to me. And I'm usually like really into new stuff and this is, yeah. It's yeah, I mean, too. when's the last time that you hooked axes across the room? Like, never, right? Not across the room. Or across the now, room. Now, the yard yeah. is a whole other story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I won't say what I was throwing it at, but that's a whole <laughs> other story. Yeah. But yeah. This is great, man. Yeah. So, this started, what, five years ago, six years ago for you? Yeah. There? Uh, the WATL has been around for about five, six years. Us, personally, we're about a year old now. Okay, uh, cool. So, we started in the basement of a retail shop just down the road here uh, with one lane just like this in the basement. You know, we booked only groups, so now we have walk-in availability, which is awesome but it's great. yeah it's it's been fun to see it grow and change you know we had the the whole COVID thing was rough but we actually built out this space during that time period when everything else was closed Stay so. productive yep that's yep. great all yeah. right so basically what's going to happen here is uh, Kelsey am I good for this I mean you are you feel okay you feel secure okay good <laughs> just want to make sure all right so I noticed there's different lines here yep so this is what yep so that's a 12, 12 foot feet. line yep, yep. 13, 13 14, 14 15, 15. Okay. yep you have to have at least one foot in that box at all times and you cannot cross the 12 foot line until both axes have stuck the target okay yep or fallen or bounce back whatever they do gotcha yeah you just can't cross all it right. so. and for the camera See, here, when I first walked in here, I'm thinking, oh, this is easy. I'm just going to get up here and I'm going to throw it. <laughs> That's not it. Yeah. So yeah. the proper grip. Yep. So we teach it safely here, right? Uh, we don't want people to use their wrists to throw. So we're crossing our thumbs in the back, holding it one hand over the other. Just all right? like that. Uh, eventually, we'll teach two one-hander. But for now, we start everybody at the two-hander. And you don't want your hand too far over or anything nope, like that? You nice nice and open. nice and straight. Axe nice and straight in your hands. Because if we're pointed out like this, chances are it's going to hit the target like that just, or like yeah. that, right? However, we're holding it is usually how it's going to hit the target so and you know like in baseball you know you choke up or anything like that yep. you want to all, all the way at the bottom yeah okay. okay. you cool. see most people most comfortable at the bottom there so all right yeah well, ready to go this? yeah all right axe high five there we go there we go oh that sounded real too <laughs> we can do it you want to do a real one do it again there we go just straight yeah there we go all right all right and then the footing, it, there's a lot of different ways you can put footing, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Just like bowling, shooting free throws in basketball, right? We want to be comfortable. We don't want anybody feeling awkward or uncomfortable up here. So uh, you can do two feet squared on, right? You can do one foot forward. A lot of people like to even take a step, you know, but the biggest thing is making sure your distance stays the same every yeah. time. So and you got to be consistent or your throw's going to be off. Yep, exactly. Okay. That's why distance is your key, all right? So here we go. You ready to go? Oh, we'll be throw at the same time, yep, right? Yeah, same time as best we can. It doesn't okay. have to be like a one, two, three, but right. yeah. 
Hey, not bad. You know what I saw though? Cut. <laughs> I saw. I didn't follow your hands. Through. Yep, no follow, I didn't follow through. through. See, in life, we teach, all the way down. we teach life principles here, right? It's good to follow through, right? <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. All right, we'll do it again. All, all right. right. So, so just pretend you're like flying. Hands go straight to your side. All right. Just like how I winged suit, right? <laughs> exactly. Here all we right. go. Ooh. The first one I threw one in. I know, I got it. <laughs> Kelly, Kelsey's telling me, follow through. And I, right now, I know Kelly's laughing at me back home. <laughs> She's laughing at me today. No All worries, right, here no we worries. Go. Okay, that's right, we gotta go at the same time. Yep. All right, ready? Yep. There you go. Did you see that, Mom? And you scored higher points than me, too. Did I really? Yeah, pretty close. All right, that's it. That'll do it. Great to see you. <laughs> hey, see you, buddy. All thank right, you I so need much. five of those. Get them ready. Yeah, all right. <laughs> no, this is great, though. So. Women are coming out and doing this too, right? I mean, oh yeah, yeah. So we have about four or five ladies in our league. Uh, we have about 20 people total. So a quarter of them are ladies, and they're giving everybody a run for their money. You see, I'm telling you what, like, it really is in the form. It I is. Can feel it my is. You through. do not have to throw it like a bro. Like you do not have to throw it as hard as you possibly can. Just let it go. Just let it go. So kind of like golf. Yep. Follow through. Let it go. Yep. Kind of like a free throw. Yes. That looked so, like the first couple looked like my free throws back in the day. <laughs> and left hand layups. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, leagues and tournaments, right? You see a lot of guys just it's like a dart throw. Like it's just nice and elegant out of your hands. It's not as hard as you can. Now this wouldn't be a really good sport to mix drinking in with it, see, is it? Is, you is that okay? would be surprised. I met a guy at a tournament who said he never had thrown axes without a beer in his system. So Wow. Yeah. Maybe it relaxes them. Exactly. It gives you a little. It's like I know bowling. guys like that with golf. Yep. Yep. And so, bowling. Exactly. Right. So we do not allow hard liquor at our space, but you can bring beer, wine, you know, the new Trulies, all that kind of stuff. You can't come in with hiccups, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do monitor you at the door to make sure that you're not like, and we do waivers, all that stuff. So we no, can kind of. Inebriated. Yeah. 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 Understood. So if you show up intoxicated, sorry, but. Here's a question. Just maybe you may not be interested. I'm interested in this because I'm looking at this wood. How long do these things last? Whew. Now, yeah. from when we started, these are cottonwood. These last anywhere from five to ten groups, depending on the board. And you got flip when out. we started originally, we used pine from like Lowe's and Home Depot. It's like kiln treated. Yeah, two to three groups. And so it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. shreds. So this, I mean, we're still figuring out how long this lasts, but we're very thankful for our guys in Kentucky that send us this stuff. So, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so I know this one's like uh, a lot bigger than the smaller ones because you've got these, and these are what one-handers. Yep. So we teach uh, we teach both, right? Both styles. But we get everybody started with one-handers okay, we'll first. One yeah. Okay. So we call these ones. We'll probably be trying them pretty soon. But these are the quarter pounders with cheese, right? Right. Uh, the head of the axe has the most of the weight. So these are going to be as close to throwing in like a league style axe as you're going to get when you come in, unless you buy your own. Gotcha. All right. Um, but yeah, these ones, it's the same premise, right? We threw two handers like this. Yep. Now Literally it's just one. take one, but make sure that you're keeping your wrist nice straight. and straight. Straight over right. the top, right? A lot of people tend to try to throw it like a Side baseball. Arm. Doesn't work. All right, so top to bottom. You can't throw a curve with these? No. No, <laughs> they, the boards do not like curve balls. No. I, it's, 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 it's the chips. Right? right? Exactly. Okay, so I come up here, and I'm not going to throw all your stands there, Kelsey, but I, but you know, it's like I'm already getting my dark stance. You know, yep, you, exactly. You, just like this, right? Yep. And, and then, then bring just, behind your head and release just like that. Just make sure you're not adding wrist to it. Try to just release it. Just let it release and then follow through with your yep. hand down. Follow through just your like side. Yeah, Just okay. like the other one. Yeah, just like the other one. All right. Well, I won't throw while you're standing there. But <laughs> hey, while you're standing there, though, let me, let me ask you this. Yeah. So you're located here in St. Joe, Michigan. Yes. And you're right next to Wendy's and I believe McDonald's. Yes. You're right in the mix. Yep. So we encourage people. We don't have food right now. We encourage people to bring their own food in. But we do walk-ins and bookings. Um, our hours are all online, but you can find the way to book online as well. Cool. Uh, you save a little bit of money if you book 24 hours in advance with us. Uh, so that's always nice. But walk-ins are available, you know. Um, and it just depends if we can get you in. There you go. You got cool logo, killer hats. <laughs> I had to grab mine. And uh, yeah, I just I look at this and go, this could be like the next big thing for especially in the winters yeah you know yep, to come in here yep exactly and it's more fun already for me than cornhole <laughs> i gotta be honest with you i mean you're throwing an axe right like Dude, I mean, yeah, go to mel like, gibson the patriot like <laughs> right like, <laughs> my whole life i was hoping you're for something waiting like for this, this. <laughs> yes all right and so we wait yep we get to go yep Woo. hey Look Natural. At Look at you scoring higher than me right Look there. Look at that, man. man. Wow. Is that a bullseye then? That is a bullseye. See, it's all one-handed. Yep. See? Yeah. That's most, it. And most people have, like, a better experience when they start one-handed. Like, it just is more natural. It's natural. But it's breaking that. It even. very much is very 
when we said darts, yeah. that was the secret yep. for me. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Great to see you. I'm hey. coming back, man. Thank now, you. Now, wait about kids. We can't let kids in here yet. So right? we actually, uh, the youngest we've seen, six years old, throwing and sticking really? the target. Yeah. So we can, they, you guys they can come in. Uh, the biggest thing is we need parents or guardians to monitor them. We can't be the babysitters. I should have brought you, <laughs> Azariah. I've got a daughter that would have loved oh, this. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry, honey girl. So 10 years old is usually the best age group to sure. start at. Close. They're just a little bit more focused, a little, a little bit more bit strength. Weight here yes. and, yeah. Yep. Exactly. But we have seen young ones go, and we're actually in the process of uh, making up plexiglass targets for like younger kids' birthday parties. Nice. They make these like axes with suction cups on them that we could have kids parties here as well. So we're cool. that's in the process. Uh, Axes but, with suction cups. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a lot safer of an option, right? What but, are you doing out there? Oh, I'm cutting down a tree, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, we're uh, we're really excited to see what the future has for us. Austin, thank you. And, yeah. and you know what? Blessings to you guys and I hope this just takes off like wildfire. Thank it already you. is. Thank you guys cool, for man. coming. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Appreciate yeah. it.